Hey beer tubers, it's Ryan here and today I'm going to take a look at a beer from the SJ Poor Baseball Homebrew Challenge and that beer comes from YouTube user Tantrum777 aka Jameson aka in this case Ironwood Ales which is the name of his brewery. Unfortunately the label is coming off there. Uh, this is Quad Damage Imperial IPA. I mean at least he put a label on there. I didn't put a label on mine. It's a 9.5% beer and uh, uses four different hot varieties. So let's get Quad Damage opened. Uh, he told me, I can smell the hops already, that's a great sign man, as soon as you open it. Uh, he, he's using Columbus, Centennial, Warrior, and Glacier hops in this beer. Use them four times in the process, brewing process, uh, hence the name Quad Damage. Uh, use them at the start of the boil, I think towards the end of the boil, maybe flame out, can't quite remember the time schedule you used and then dry hopped it. So color wise, um, kind of what you expect with a dry hop beer, just a lot of haze on this beer. Uh, nice orange color, kind of got a little bit of a copper tinge towards the top. Nice, nice fluffy white head there. Two fingers, small bubbles, ball conditioned beer. Let's get the aroma on it. Oh, there's uh, a lot going on in there uh, in terms of different hop characters. I mean, Centennial, you get some uh, some grapefruit, some you know sweet tropical fruit notes. There's definitely pineapple, maybe a mango. Um, there's a nice floral character in there as well. A little bit of a kind of resiny character as well, that kind of earthiness. So I mean, those hops he's using, I mean, just. Uh, bitter grapefruit on, on the aroma. Yeah, nice smell of beer. And by the way, he wanted me to just review this like normal, um, just because that's what he wanted. He wanted my take on it, so I'm going to give it to him. Let him know what I think. So, uh, ready to dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's nice. Um, Man, there's, yeah, I mean, I, I saw, we got to see, you know, how much hops you put in there, and you can definitely taste it. This is a, this is a hot four, nine and a half percent uh, Imperial IPA. The malt, you know, I know you're using the Crystal 60 in there, gives a little bit of that nice caramel notes. And if I remember right, the rest of the malt, it's pretty much just base malt, some of that wheat. The wheat's going to really help, maybe give a little bit of a, the citrusy character as well. I mean, I don't know if that's enough in this big of a beer to matter too much. Definitely going to help with uh, with lacing and uh, head formation and all that good stuff. Man, this is really nice. Up front, you get blasted with um, resiny, grapefruity uh, bitterness. Yeah, the, the nose is a little sweeter on this one, that's for sure. I just think, the, yeah, the sea hops are really kind of taking over. I think you mentioned Glacier is also more towards the citrusy side. I've never used Glacier. I haven't really researched it. Just wanted to taste this one as is. And then um, I think the Warrior's more, if I remember right, more like an earthy kind of character, maybe a little bit. I don't think there's plenty of work. Maybe floral into resiny? I don't know. Um, it, those varieties I haven't played with too much. Uh, I have used Warrior a little bit. I've had all Warrior. I had Me Keller's Warrior IPA, which is really nice. Can't remember too much about it other than I uh, really like that hot variety. And so I wanted to use it in one of my beers. Um, you know, not tasting anything off on this. It's drinking really good. I'm, I'm feeling the alcohol more than I'm tasting at this point. This is my first beer of the day. So I'm giving it as fair of a shot that I can give. Um, and it's a good day for an IPA, a nice uh, warm day. Um, this, is, this is a very big beer, though. Um, Cal Ale Yeast is using this one. So a nice, clean, dry finish. A uh, little bit of a lingering character of some of the hop notes. Slight bit of malt. No, it's mostly just kind of nice, 
not too bready, but I mean it's it's a good malt, malt backbone for this type of beer. So, um, grading wise, I don't know. I really don't want to grade your beer. It's it's an awesome homebrew, man. Um, I mean it's some somewhere up there, like B plus A minus, somewhere in that range. Um, you know, I you know a lot of people would would definitely pay money for this beer. There's no question. Um, definitely know uh, what you're doing. So, and then uh, Jameson also sent me his chocolate oak tree. This is chocolate honey brown ale. Uh, this is a monster of a beer. 11.5 percent ABV. Uh, he said to age this a while. I don't know how long I can because um, I really want to try it. Because um. I, you obviously made some good beers. Chris liked your uh, Pliny Clone, and then this one's really nice too. So I don't know. Maybe you're just telling me that this is not as good as you were hoping, but it's probably still a really good brew. So looking forward to that. Looking forward to trying some of your other beers. I won't necessarily review them unless you request me to, but um, I'll definitely uh, drink them on camera and give you some feedback on them, what, what I think of them. But um, really looking forward to some of your beers. I'm going to get SJ Pour package out and he'll relay it to maybe one or two people. So we're going to see. So uh, until next time, please comment and subscribe. Check out Jameson's channel, Tantrum777 on YouTube. And uh, check out H SJ Pour uh, and his channel on YouTube. He's the one that's kind of responsible for us trading some homebrews. So uh, cheers to those guys. Until next time.